Afternoon YouTube, Scott from SC Landscaping up in the northeast of England and we are just starting to get a bit of, if I spin you around, a bit of mist and rain for the first time in a long time. And I'm in one of our cemeteries and I shall show you again that up the north, as you can see, everything's yellow. The only thing growing at the moment on here is weeds. Um, it's been like this for a couple of months now as the rain comes in our baskets are doing well however as they get watered every day just look at these here good display but see them on this side grass is very yellow and this morning um, the council's asked me to take a load of old roses out basically the plan is to revamp this area so I've took all the uh, ones that sort of gone to seed and they're no good anymore, I've cut them all down I'm going to dig them out, we're going to replant these areas in a month's time so and then they'll have over winter to uh, to bed themselves in so cut those out there and the plan is to get on with this this is a hedge I've done before, a yew hedge just on that side there first, uh, first job today and we've got this one to do this only gets done twice a year um, but if you look at the brambles if you look at that that's just popped up out of nowhere the last few weeks it's uh we'll have to get to the bottom of that the plan is we'll snip it off at the bottom or try and dig it out and then cut all this off so let's get started
So that's the pruning finished. Now there's a little bit of hawthorn coming through here and if you look it just rises slightly so what I'm going to do at the end of the year and cut the hawthorn out and I'm going to cut that hard back so that it's level like the rest of the hedge. But apart from that, that stem, there's another bit there, another bit of hawthorn that's come through so we'll get them snipped out. In fact we'll probably snip them out today and then we'll uh, tidy it up and then end of the year just take the tops off those areas just to make it more uniform but apart from the clean up which is to do that is another job knocked into shape and a bit more clean up there with the chipper tomorrow plan is to bring the chipper and the transit and to um to chip all this rather than take it away so yes a bit of um, trimming there with the steel hsa 86 a little handheld it's um it's a bit shorter than the old petrol 82 that that I, I used to use but it's um it's more lightweight and now that we've got the extendable stuff you don't sort of miss the the heavy handheld petrol ones i do use them now and again um, for sort of rough jobs if I'm hacking something where I'm not bothered about the blades I will use it now and again but jobs like that to get it nice and tidy it's uh, that's the go-to sort of machine for, for the smaller jobs so that's finished well not finished we've got to come back tomorrow with the chipper because I've done a couple of hedges the day previous I've got a pile on one side I've got this pile here and I've got some more hedges to do in the morning so the plan is just to nip round them all with the um, with the chipper, um, and then I've got some tree branches to blow tree branches to move off a job. So I'll get them all done. Um, get them all done tomorrow after the last the next hedge I've got to put. But keeping um, but with that side there, it's just twice a year. So once the birds have finished nesting, um, it's specified to cut in August, and then it'll get a trim at the end of the year. It could, um, it could have been done earlier really, but the thing with you is it doesn't sort of grow fast. So apart from the, the, net, the brambles and the hawthorn that came through, which shouldn't be there and won't be there next year with our new plan of getting down and getting that cut out and, and dug out if possible, it'll, uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a tidy job, so it'll make it make it more presentable up until the time when it comes to need pruning but as you saw with the grass very little very little growth still up here we've had a couple of small showers today and we've predicted thunderstorms this week and if if we do get some thunderstorms that might get the gra grass growing but you're still going to be it's still going to be a fortnight before the grass kicks off with the water it's going to take time for it to get away so if you look at that you're going into september and with the mornings and nights pulling in it's um the, basically the grass isn't gonna the grass isn't gonna get away again this season we're gonna keep on top of everything which is nice as you know i'm running um i'm running with less capacity in men now due to uh getting shot of some bad eggs as i mentioned earlier so by doing that um grass being kept short it's actually worked in our favor because I'm saving money and we're not behind we do we, we do nice with what we're doing and everybody else who's uh, who I'm sending out is performing so it's it's working out at the moment and the plan for next year will be the same to stick with the people we've got and then obviously there's a bigger plan which is coming into place which I'll talk about nearer the time so that's uh, that's it for today just a short uh, short hedge cutting job so thanks for watching any questions on the battery stuff again i know pretty much everybody's using battery things now whether it be still uh, husqvarna ego or palenque i know everybody's pretty much getting on to the battery stuff but anybody with any questions or anything about the, the run times and things i'm operating uh, there's still 300 and 500 batteries now. The 500 seem to last forever in hedge cutters. The 300s um, and the bigger hedge cutters, they go through it a bit quicker, but the, you, you can still get a good shift out of them. 
comments or any questions um, drop me a message in the comments below and I shall um, I shall answer if I can but apart from that thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one